Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a video to OneDrive and then submit a link of that video here in Blackboard. So regardless if you're doing your introduction or your informative speech, you will do this the same. Um, you have two options when uploading a speech video. You can either upload it to YouTube. So if you're going to take that option, uh, you just have to create an account through YouTube, upload your video, and then copy and paste your uh, link here in Blackboard. Another option that you have is to do this through OneDrive. And so I'm going to show you how to do this through OneDrive in this video because your OneDrive account is actually connected um, to your Blackboard, to everything else that you have as a student. And um, you can kind of think of this as Google Drive, but with the school. So I'm going to do it this way because it's kind of nice to have all of your documents, all your videos, have everything in the same place with your school account. So all right, so say I have recorded my video and I have saved it to my computer. So now I want to upload it to OneDrive and submit my link. So I'm going to go to my student portal. Mine might look a little different since I'm an instructor, but it's the same. So you're going to log in and then you're going to come over here to where it says Blackboard and then MS Cloud Apps. So MS Cloud Apps is where you're going to go. That just means Microsoft Applications, and this is through our school cloud. So you may or may not know that through your school account, you actually get all the Microsoft Applications. So as you can see here, these are all available to you as a student. So if you want to use Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, anything, Word, all of that, it's available to you. So that's how you get there. You have, you, like I said, you can use any of these applications and the fun part is that it will save automatically to your OneDrive, which I really like. So here's OneDrive. And I'm gonna have a lot of things here because I've been using it for a while, but you may or may not, depending on how much you've used your OneDrive, but since you're watching this video, you probably haven't used it much. So you're going to click here where it says upload. And you're going to go to files and then find the video that you want to upload. So I, I say mine to my desktop and I'm going to upload my, uh, let's see, is this the one I was going to do? And oh, there's another one that's a little shorter, so it's easier to, there it is. Okay, so the self-assessment instructional video, I'm just going to pretend that's my speech video and I'm going to open it. And when I do that, I'll see up here, it's going to pop, let's see, so I forgot that I need to delete that out of here, but that's okay. I'm just going to replace it. So it's uploading my item and once it's done, it'll pop up probably at the top. If not, then you just have to scroll down and find it. Here it is at the bottom. So I, if I want to look at it, I can, I can click on it. I can open it, look at it, do whatever I want. Um, but to submit a link to me, all you have to do is hover your cursor over the name. So you'll see these three dots appear, right? So this happens anytime you hover over something, you'll see three dots. So I'm going to do that. And you can see lots of options that pop up. If I want to rename before I submit, whatever I want to do, um, you can download it again to my computer, you know, move it. But what I want to click is copy link. So I'm going to copy that link and it will say link copied. It'll automatically say anyone with the link can edit. You want to keep it this way because that allows me to be able to see it. I'm not going to edit anything on your video. It just makes sure that it's not going to block it for some reason for me. All right, so once I have that copied, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click introduction speech link submission and then write submission. And I'll show you a text box. Click that and then copy paste in there scroll down and submit. See, there we go. All right, so here it is and I'll see it exactly like this. This is how it looks on my end. Uh, some people will put it as comment, that works, but you know, this is how I would like it if possible, but that's really it. You'll do this the same for your introduction and your um, informative speech. So if you have any questions, on how to use OneDrive other than this or something was confusing on that, just let me know and I'll be happy to help. 